That thing is freaking loud, and I don't know why, but it sounds cool. Hey guys, I think we're gonna have a really, really warm winter. Christmas is in two days. No, today's the 22nd. Christmas is in three days, and I think it's only snowed once here in Utah. Like, really. I mean, okay, maybe twice, but that one time really didn't count. And last year, I think it had snowed several times before Christmas. So. I don't know what you think. I'm over here in the yard today. I'm covering. Our main guy that loads the garbage trucks is off for Christmas. So I'm. Uh, there's not enough garbage to load a double right now. But there will be in about an hour. There should be enough garbage. So. A little garbage truck with that claw machine. I'm gonna be using this loader. So I'm gonna go get that warm too. The yard dog's getting warmed up. Gotta move some of these trailers around. It's gonna be a good day. Good day. Christmas time. Christmas! Christmas is almost here. So don't be naughty because Santa knows. He knows when you're naughty. Well, maybe he doesn't, but you know when you're naughty and you should not be naughty. You'll feel a lot better if you're nice to other people. I'm freaking tired. There's the dock. Stay warm, guys. So as an equipment operator, you don't have to, uh, um, do like a pre-trip like you would on a truck, but you still got to check your fluids. So on this big machine, ooh, looks like Dirk drove over something that sprayed this thing with some kind of fluid. Let's check our oil. I believe this is a big Cummins engine block. <sighs> okay, we're good on oil. Put that back. This thing gets so dirty. Oh my gosh, it drives over so much garbage and stuff splashes on it. If there's like jugs that are got fluid in them so you got your engine oil coolant this is our hydraulic gauge you just got to make sure there's stuff in there it's a huge tank i mean look how big that tank is it's completely full of hydraulic oil so as long as you can see it on the tank or on the on the gauge there you're good you don't want it to be overfilled because then it's over pressurized and you could blow a hose but tires Make sure nothing's wrapped around my axles. Some cardboard. Probably should wash it, but I don't like washing things in the winter because they can freeze. I don't want to damage anything, especially down here. This all needs to be washed off and we grease it, you know, once a month, but not once a month, every other week. Every two weeks we grease these, depending on how much we use them and how busy we are. But I just don't want to wash it because the water can freeze and, you know, break stuff. So as soon as, uh, probably February, we can start washing the outside equipment again. Let's go get it fired up. Cold start on an old Cummins engine. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Alright, a big loader like this, you want it to warm up for a few minutes before you use it. So I'm gonna go back to the yard dog, I'm gonna move some trailers, and then I'll come back and let this thing warm up for about five minutes. 
and then I can use it so. I'm here at the Vasa in Ogden, Utah. Been trying to go to the gym more lately because my <laughs> I've gained a little bit of weight the last two years being in truck driving. My truck is, or my car, not my truck. My car is filthy. I got my hats everywhere. The dash is covered in dirt. I got a, a Rockstar from 7-Eleven. <sighs> Man, it's almost Christmas. Oh, the camera's having a hard time adjusting. So, I am very grateful that oh, I need a haircut. I am very grateful that I get to be um, home for Christmas. I know there's a lot of drivers out there that only go home every three months or so and they're on the road and they can't be with their families. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to, you know, the real Santa Claus. I know Santa Claus is real in all of our hearts, but the real Santa is, is truck drivers. You know, they deliver everything, everything we have, everything we buy, use, everything around us is brought to us by over the road truck drivers and we really need to be grateful so um you know if you see a truck driver somewhere just go and thank them not like a veteran or something veterans obviously would you you would thank them more because they put their lives in harm's way I'm trying to hold my my arms tired i haven't even got to the gym yet my arms tired i can't hold my stupid phone um but yeah the real santa claus is truck drivers so I'm very grateful that I get to be home and I'm not out you know on the road full-time um, I've been driving a lot the last two months I've been to Washington like two times or three times a week every week for November and December just because we've had a huge influx of loads that we've had to take um, but luckily I get to be home uh, with my family, we're going to the extended families uh, tomorrow, and then Christmas Eve we'll be with the other family, the in-laws. So, uh, thank a truck driver. That's how everything we have gets delivered. They are the backbone of our economy. Eighty-five percent of all freight miles are moved by trucks whether last mile or over the road or long haul. So anyways, have a good Christmas guys and, and take care of your family. That's Caden. Somebody decided to hit him driving this truck. So we're we're here at utility trailer. This is why trucking insurance is so expensive. Luckily it wasn't our fault. But I just drove this trailer over here. We're gonna drop the trailer off. This support part's ruined. The trailer's probably totaled because it's like a it's a 2005 Wabash Air Ride trailer. It used to be a JB Hunt trailer. So, anyways, we're gonna go get a quote for this and then we're gonna go across the street and drop this off at Peterbilt. This truck's probably totaled because these sleepers are so expensive to seat and this cab is ruined. So, anyways, let me get a better view from this angle. Oh yeah. Anyways, we'll go to Peterbilt next. The trailer drop. Let's go give them the registration. They're going to give us a quote. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I, I should have recorded myself dropping um, that Peterbilt truck off. Gosh, my hair looks horrible. I'm freaking tired. 
So today is the day after Christmas. Get my phone off of there. Today is the day after Christmas. It's December the 26th. Um, Friday night, my brother's driving that one of our trucks and our drive-in trailer in Salt Lake City and somebody hit him at the intersection he was parked. Um, so there's that little bit of background. He was coming down 5600 in California Avenue and, and uh, one car was texting and driving, hit another bobtail that swerved and hit my brother um, in the truck. So the truck is mechanically fine, but the cab has been bent. And the way that those cabs are bent, you really can't bend them straight. It's they're just they're designed to be expensive. You can't replace them like you're supposed to be able to. And then the sleeper is totally knocked off place. So we'll see that it, it's not totaled. I said that in the video. It's not totaled yet, but the cost to repair it is more than the truck's worth. The truck's probably only worth forty thousand dollars, and that trailer's probably not even worth eight thousand dollars with the current market. So. Um, we dropped the trailer off at Utility Trailer Salt Lake and the truck off at Peterbilt. Um, and then we're just waiting for their quotes and then we're waiting for the person that caused the accident's insurance to tell us what to do, whether they total it. And then they just pay us and scrap the trucks for truck to value. Um, anyways, sorry, I didn't mean to throw that in there, so. You know, Christmas surprise, my brother gets in a wreck, ruins one of our trucks. Not his fault. So, uh, I'm sitting here in the office. I don't know if you can see. There's our scale right there. This is our front office in our aggregate yard. Um, but I am just trying to book some loads right now. I got some loads and permits. And, you know, it's the new year. So, you got to you gotta get your um, permits in order. Your IFTA, depending on what state you're in. Your special fuel user stickers. Um Oh, it's bright and sunny. The mountains are beautiful off in the distance. Dude, I got to tell you, I really do live in the most beautiful place with the mountains. Um, but it's been very dry. I mean, it's very warm. I think it hit like 40 degrees this morning and we don't have any snow on the ground at all. There's some snow in the mountains, so I might go snow skiing, but we're trying to book loads. I've got a truck in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I got a truck in um, in El Paso, Denver, and one in um, Spokane right now. So trying to book some loads for tomorrow. I got to tell you what, booking loads in the afternoon is, is probably my favorite way to go because brokers are starting to get desperate for their loads that need to be picked up early in the morning. So, you know. Booking loads late at night, sometimes you can get some pretty good deals. I got a, I got a load coming out of Albuquerque, which Albuquerque usually doesn't pay very good. So, you know, <laughs> um, and I got a pretty good, pretty good load coming home from Spokane. So sometimes you just got to book them at night. So there's the explanation. Nobody's hurt. The accident really wasn't that bad. It wasn't how expensive auto body work is. We probably would keep the truck, but just the way insurance works, we're probably gonna have to scrap it, which luckily it was our cheapest truck. We don't owe really anything left on that truck, so they'll just give us the value and we'll put it towards something else. Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated, but peace. Don't get in a wreck. Merry Christmas. I know Christmas already happened, but Stay safe, guys. Happy New Year. Bye, 2023.